Hi, Pep. Um, sorry to ask this question after the last forty-eight hours, but what did you uh, what did you think of the support today? And did the did the fans make you feel wanted after what you said yesterday? Listen, I, I, I was in the flash interviews and every journalist asked me the same question when normally they don't ask me the same question. So I didn't say anything wrong in my after Leipzig. I said, we played an incredible tough game against Leipzig, will be incredible tough game against Southampton. I need uh, the support and our fans. I never complain about how many come or don't come. I never done this so in my life. So I don't know the people ask me these questions. And of course I am grateful for the even come 100 people, 85 people, I would be happy. So but not in not in terms of numbers. Were you happy? So, uh, were you happy the way the fans that. were you happy the, with the way the fans got behind the team today? And the way that the always. fans and the way the fans showed their support for you. You know, they chanted your name before kickoff. As always, but for me, for me, it doesn't matter. So support the players, they run. I don't run. I'm the touch line. I cannot move. So it's, it's, they, they, what do you have to do is try to play every time better and better for, for the people that come here to stay with the, the team that they love and do our, our game and make them enjoy and make them happy for the way we play. That's all. So always when the game is not good, I feel bad for them. At the end, it's, 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 they come to see a show, to see a game, and they want to enjoy it. And when it's happened, I'm grateful that there is a why we are in this business. And when it happened, I'm so a little bit guilty because I, we didn't pay good. But, you know, right now, until now, I don't understand this theory or this subject Ask me um, what happened? Because what I said is just, guys, come to be together to 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 the next game. Is the same I'm going to say now. Please come on Tuesday against uh, Wickham so the Carabao Cup. Please come, come to to be with us. That is was what I said. No more than that. If after they come more or less, it doesn't matter. Of course, everyone has his own life. And sometimes they can come, sometimes they can't, sometimes they want, sometimes they don't want. What is the problem? Anything. What you have to do is our job. Like we have done the last six years, five years, and then many, many, many times. So, and every time I will ask, please come, come to be with us. We were more than one year without them. It was not the same. It's not the same to play football, you know, with, with them or without them. That's for sure. So uh, that's why. So um, I, I'm still, you know, a little bit shocked for the fact why the people ask me this question when normally in five years never ask me this question when I didn't say anything. But anyway. Uh, thank you for coming. Of course, they were awesome, especially last minute when we push more. It is difficult to ask them when we are not good in our build-up and we lost simple balls in our process because we were not clever today and a little bit sloppy. So that's why first result, compliment for uh, for uh, for uh, uh, Southampton and yeah, move forward. Uh, quite possible. Hi, Pep. Um, you've scored so many goals this season. Your the finishing, particularly at home, has been so good. But just one shot on target today, and we haven't really, therefore, had the chance to say, "Oh, well, if they'd signed a centre forward, they'd be doing better," because you have done so well. But do you accept, obviously, when games like this happen, as the season progresses, people will say? Well, why didn't they sign a centre forward? The question is not that. Today we didn't win, not because we didn't have centre forward. We didn't win because our process to make the build up, to play, to create better balls or give better balls for the players that are up front, they were not good. And when that's good, they can run. You arrive in other positions. Of course, we have just one shoot on target, but it was four or five a day block in the maybe in the five year box or six year box. So they were there. Um, but it's not, not that is not the reason. The reason is because we didn't do the process for our back four and Fernandinho, the, the five guys who have to bring the ball to the other players today was not good. So would you say this this performance is an outlier and the pre previous performances are more like what we will see? 
every game is different. So Raf told me, so we have seven days to prepare. I prepared everything. Uh, we had uh, 10 minutes yesterday. So so the teams who play the Champions League, when they play, no, the Premier League is 38 games. We play everyone against everyone. This is not true. So I would have loved to have more time to recover more people or be more fresh. And today we didn't have this freshness in our in our mind. I would not say in our like in our mind. Um, because we have four or five new players, like they are fresh to to try to do it. And um, yeah, there are these sometimes there are these days. So it's a it's a pity because but the game, I think in the game they had they could run and they arrived in the TR box with chances to to shoot. We didn't shoot much and 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 we were there and we could not we could not uh, we could not be more clinical in the final third but uh, we have to create more and also happen from behind and behind we were not good Sam Wallace please Hi Pep what did you make of the uh, red card and the penalty that were overturned do you think it was the right decision I, I didn't see it I don't have a VAR in my in my I would say in the in the touch line in the bench and after I did still honestly I was in the I was in the flash interviews and I didn't watch the actions. Um, Jim Conlon. Hi Pep. Uh, Pep you mentioned there about being clinical there today but was there a lack of imagination on the ball in terms of the final third? Was there a baby that lack of spark? Is that why you felt you had to go to the bench for Kevin there in the second half to provide that bit of imagination? No, this is not the reason why. The reason why our build-up was not good. And Pep, lastly on that, in terms of, you mentioned the build-up uh, not being good. So in, in terms that you were saying it was further back the field that you weren't happy with it. Is it in terms of the holding midfielders? Is that where the process started, that you weren't happy with the build-up? Listen, to score a goal, you have to, there are many reasons. You can be set back and make a counter-attack. So you can be so direct, second balls. Our process is the keeper pass to central defenders, central defenders with fullbacks, holding midfielders, holding midfielders, fullbacks, pass the ball, attacking midfielders, pass the ball to the wingers. And in that process, you are trying, all, you, we, we travel, we, we fly, we live all together to make the transitions. This is the way. And this process from the beginning to the next step was not perfect what we wanted. We spoke and it was difficult sometimes because the opponent is good. They defend well. They were like Raf told me was one week preparing different options that you had to do it, and 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 sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes the opponent always is involved in that, so we cannot we cannot forget never ever that. So when the people say, "Oh, you can see three goals against against Leipzig," yeah, we we score six, but we can see three because they are good, and uh, and and sometimes we need yeah more time to training, more time to practice, and we don't have it and. And today was a little bit like this. In some moments, we were good because we were struggling in the first, I would say, 10, 15 minutes for the each half. But the last 30 minutes, um, especially the first half and, and the second as well, we were better.